Hello everyone. Welcome to Wednesday in Take 5. We are looking through the book of James and we are trying to apply it to our lives in these days. And the theme that we've been going in chapter 2, which is where we are, is the whole issue of um, partiality or favoritism. And in some ways, the more negative word is bias. And uh, maybe the action of bias is prejudice. And it's, it's real. It's in my life and yours as well. James chapter 2, all the way verses 1 through 7 and beyond. We'll go beyond um, tomorrow. We're going to go to verses 5, 6, and 7. But the chapter does begin with, My brothers, show no partiality. Where am I going to go with this? Well, starting in verse 5, he does this contrast between going out of your way to invite a wealthy person into your fellowship and give them the best seat and just ignore the the poor people. Probably in this context, in that first century, the rather poor first century Jewish believers were being oppressed by the wealthy, and yet they were not um, they were not seeing that and so they were still overly impressed by the outward appearance of the wealthy and I, it got me thinking about how easily we can be impressed by outward appearance now we certainly assess people by the way they look and uh, I'm doing a job interview let's say and somebody comes in I don't think it's necessarily wrong to um, assess how they appear. Do they show up 15 minutes late? Are they sloppy? I mean, I, I have my own things. Now, if I, if I not only assess whether they're qualified for this job by some of the things that I see, by the, the, the look of their resume or the appearance of their clothes, okay, I can sort of do that. But if I then um, impart character evaluations based on what I see, that can be a real problem. And we do it all the time. We do it by the color of somebody's skin. We do it by their accent, right? I mean, some people, if you have a Southern accent, hey, y'all, how you doing? Some people will assess, that person's not very smart. It's not right to do it. Um, they do it by their politics. If this person leans to the right, um, if that person leans to the left, this one's a communist, this one's a fascist. Um, be careful of those things. Even age, that person's just old and so he's stuck in his ways. That person's young and he's totally inexperienced. Outward appearances can so influence the way we react to people, um, it's just not good. And that's where he goes. Show no partiality. And here's, here's the, here are the verses. See if this applies. Listen, my beloved brothers. Has not God chosen those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he has promised to those who love him? It sort of reminds me when Jesus talked about um, it's hard for a rich man to pass through the, to enter into the kingdom as putting a camel through the eye of the needle. At, at times it seems as if, because there's less pride and baggage, the Lord has blessed the poor of this world to inherit the kingdom. And he's not saying wealthy people, and we are here in the West, we are wealthy for sure. And it's harder for us to get rid of the idols of our wealth to come to a place of faith. And he said, and yet at times, at least in this context, they were honoring the wealthy who had no faith and dishonoring the poor. Verse six, you have dishonored the poor one. And not, are not the rich ones the ones who oppress you, the ones who drag you into court? Are they not the ones who blaspheme the honorable name by which you were called? It's just basically a statement of saying, don't judge people by their outward appearance. I don't know what you're going to do today. I don't know what store you're going to or um, where you will be in public. But be aware of how quickly we can go to a mode of, just, of judgment by the way people look, talk, appear, dress, their age, their wealth, or lack thereof. 
All he's saying is, don't do it. Be careful of that. The, the chapter begins, show no partiality in your walk with Christ. Christ didn't. Let's not do it either. I'll see you tomorrow as we continue this conversation. Thank you.